I'm Dr. John. This is your Maintenance Minute. We're continuing our walk through the 32 processes that make up the storeroom operation. We're down to return to supplier. This is a process that has caused a tremendous amount of aggravation for the storeroom personnel as well as procurement. I'm going to step you through some of what I believe are the very key elements to it. I think these will help you. First of all, the return to supplier process is the very first step after the obsolescence process. Once we've determined that a part is no longer viable for our operation, still a good part, we just don't need it anymore, or it's an excess to what we think we're probably going to use. So it's a good part, it's serviceable, we simply don't need it, we simply don't need it in the quantity that we have it. We want to return it to supplier. So if you have an obsolescence program, and you should have one, we've already talked about that, you should have a return supplier because this is the very first step after that. Also, care for spares comes into it. Remember, that's also a process that we discussed. That's the PM program, essentially, for your spare parts. If you're going to return a part to a supplier, doesn't it make sense that not only is the part a good part, but it's also a functional part? That is to say, we've taken care of it. Now, remember, this is a part that might have been in your storeroom for years, possibly decades. So we need to have a program by which we care for them. So it's still a not only a good part, but it's also a serviceable part. It's helpful, helps sell the program, if you will, if the part is in the original packaging and if the packaging isn't all beat to heck, right? It's a good package, the part's in it, the part's a good part. Again, this just helps us through the whole return to supplier process. So make sure you hold on to that original packaging as much as you can and make sure that it's in good shape too. Again, it's you're taking something, you know, it's like you're taking something back to the store. You bought it, you don't need it, you don't want it, it doesn't fit, you take it back to the store. Isn't it easier to return to the store if it's all original, in good shape, has the tags and the packaging and everything with it? Also, this vendor setup is an interesting point. We don't talk about that. That's not one of our, that's more of a procurement process. It's not a storeroom process. But it's interesting that when we're setting up vendors that we specifically mention that from time to time we may have to return parts to them and that we have some sort of agreement. We don't want to be charged a restocking fee of 100% because that's just essentially giving the part back for which we get no value for. I remember having a discussion years ago. I was the head of engineering for an organization, an OEM manufacturing facility, actually. We, we made equipment, and I was the head of engineering. And I had a discussion with the purchaser for our company that bought the nuts and the bolts and the sheet metal and all the different kinds of things we need to make our equipment. And he was spreading out the purchase of all these components, if you will, to various vendors. And I told him that it makes more sense to have sort of one or two vendors that we buy from chiefly. And boy, he was arguing about that like you wouldn't believe. Of course, that makes sense for a procurement person, right? My argument was what Deming said. Deming said, put all your eggs in one basket. I'm kind of paraphrasing there. But once I set up a vendor and I make them key on a couple of things and they know that we're buying solely from them. It's then that I can demand the best price, the best technical service, and I can demand this return to supplier process without any restocking fee. Because quite honestly, you've got all my business. Here's what I want in return. So make sure we have that discussion in the vendor setup. There's a whole lot to talk about in return to supplier. I just touched on four things I think are very critical things that you'd want to build into your program. If you need some help with this, give me a call. This is what we do. Be happy to help you. I'm Dr. John. This has been your Maintenance Minute.